Star Trek Beyond WASNT even in theaters yet when Paramount announced a fourth Star Trek movie starring the reboot cast that includes Chris Pine as Captain Kirk, Zachary Quinto as Mr. Spock, and Carl Urban as Dr. McCoy. The press release boldly went on to declare that Pine's Captain Kirk will cross paths with a man he never had a chance to meet, but whose legacy has haunted him since the day he was born. His father, Chris Hemsworth, who appeared in 2009's Star Trek will return to the space saga as George Kirk to star alongside Pine. And then, nothing. Total communicator silence. Star Trek Beyond did okay at the box office, but its $343 million worldwide was also the lowest total among the The New Treks. Adjusted for inflation, it's only the eighth biggest movie in the franchise behind stuff like Star Trek Into Darkness, The Search for Spock, and even the motion picture. All of Trek's mojo now seems focused on TV, and the brand new series Star Trek Discovery. Still, I loved Star Trek Beyond as an uplifting antidote for a dark and cynical age, and I want to see more movies with that new cast. So when I had the chance to talk to Carl Arben this week in conjunction with his new movie Thor Ragnarok he plays Scourge, and as Guardian Warrior aligned with Kate Blanchett's Hela, I had to ask what happened to Star Trek 4 are there any updates? Here's what he told me you know as much as I do, my friend, laughs listen, we'd all love to make another Star Trek movie. That's absolutely certain. But if we don't get that opportunity then I'm really happy to have ended on such a good note. We had such a wonderful time shooting Star Trek Beyond. It was an amazing experience, and we're all still grieving over the fact that it was the last time that we got to shoot with Anton Yelchin. We're all like a family. It won't be the same without him. When I pressed if there was any kind of timetable for the film he replied I know nothing. Then he repeated himself. Damn it, me, he's an actor not a prognosticator or bundy idnt say Star Trek 4 WASNT happening, but his response didnt exactly inspire confidence that it would. That's a shame. Paramount really struck gold with their Trek movie reboot. The whole notion of recasting those iconic characters probably should NT have worked and wouldn't if the actors weren't perfectly chosen. Somehow J.J. Abrams and his team pulled it off, and somehow director Justin Lin made Star Trek Beyond into one of the best Trek movies ever. At least, as Urban notes, if that's the end of the Trek movie franchise for now, it went out on a high note. Thor Ragnarok opens in theaters on November 3rd. We'll have more from our interview with Urban soon. The 25 Greatest Sci-Fi Movie Posters of All Time